Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari is keeping an eye on the tropics for us tonight, and you just got that 11 o'clock update. Yeah, not only are we watching Tropical Storm Brett, but there's also still a tropical wave that's just been sitting a few several hundred miles behind it to the east of Tropical Storm Brett. I will tell you, this is still not formed into anything tropical in the sense of a tropical depression or storm, but there is a high probability Invest 93L will be our next tropical depression within the next day or two, but that one does look to actually stay mostly out to sea. So that's some good news for us. Tropical Storm Brett not gaining any strength within the last few hours. It did gain some strength through the, really through the first half of today as hurricane hunters continue to investigate it and we did bump up those winds but as of the 11 o'clock update we're still sitting with a 65 mile per hour storm and also not only have we seen those tropical storm watches get lit up across portions of the Caribbean tonight really even ever since last night the latest update is right over the island of Dominica that is a tropical storm warning that is now in effect because of the fact that this storm will start to bring some strong winds and heavy rainfall as early as tomorrow and that will persist through much of Thursday into early Friday morning. Friday morning, the system moves into the eastern Caribbean and continues to trail its way to the central Caribbean as it gradually weakens. It will become a weaker system as it does encounter a lot of wind shear. And a lot of our long range models not only have it weakening over the central Caribbean, but also then possibly deteriorating as a remnant low in that moisture, making it into Central America by later next week. So that is, of course, something that we'll continue to watch, but really no concern for us here at home.